you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today I would just like to um, talk about some of the services which are, I think it's important for governments to deliver, and some of the reforms which have taken place over the last few years, and, that, uh, and also to perhaps highlight an area of reform which I believe is necessary if, if, if people um, who are older are to live dignified lives. Mr. Speaker, some years ago, um, under, the, under the previous um, federal uh, Gillard government, uh, when I think it was Minister Shorten was Assistant Minister for Disability Services, uh, and Mr. Uh, we introduced, at the Commonwealth level we introduced the, the National Disability Insurance Scheme. Uh, now the National Dis Disability Insurance Scheme was premised on two key, two key principles: choice and control for the people living with disability in terms of the care they received, and that uh, it was an important an important reform, a major reform, on the same sort of level as Medicare was a major reform, uh, initially under the Whitland government, then under the Hawke-Keating government. And despite some of the difficulties with the scheme itself, and I'm sure MP, uh, MPs in this place are receiving complaints about some of the issues regarding the current scheme, it is very, a very important reform because it actually helps people live more independent lives and greater quality of life. Mr Speaker, uh, putting aside for one moment some of, the, some of the market failure which is occurring now in that services sector, just like any new, uh, new sectors or new service areas, there's often initially some market failure and things which need to be improved. Despite all that, I think that move uh, towards establishing the National, Dis National Disability Insurance Scheme was the correct one. And it, it also ensured that people living with disability uh, are treated with dignity and can live with dignity. There is another, another vulnerable group in our community, Mr Speaker, which I think requires major reform in terms of the way they are cared for as well. Now, it took us some decades to understand that putting people living with disability into institutions and hiding them away was not the right way to treat people, not the right way to see them develop as individuals, not the right way to ensure that they actually met their potential. This group, Mr. Mr. Speaker, are the people who actually are involved in our aged care system, people who live in uh, various nursing homes or institutional care. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I think the time has come is to, like we have with, with the delivery of disability services, we need to start actually taking people uh, um, who now live in nursing homes, etc., out of institutions and in a new way of living. Yeah, I think it's very important that uh, people uh, towards um, uh, the end of their lives uh, also are able to live fulfilling lives, uh, able to live lives with, which are full of dignity and also be treated with dignity. Now, in saying that, Mr Speaker, I'm not suggesting any providers are doing the wrong thing. I think even the best providers in this sector, the aged care sector, still actually are providing what you might call institutional care. And like all institutions, they actually, to some extent, uh, are run on efficiency principles, which means in individuals have very little choice and control about their lives. And, Mr Speaker, I think as a society we need to do much better how we treat our people, the people who need care, full-time care, in, um, in that part of their life. Mr Speaker, the reality of institutional care in most cases is that people eat at a certain time, uh, shower at a certain time, do all sorts of things at a certain time. There is very little personal autonomy for the individuals uh, in these institutions. And often these are people who have actually lived quite fulfilling lives, have, been, have been, uh, worked often in a whole range of different careers, lives, etc. And at this part of their life, they actually are, are treated in a way which I think is not the most dignified to treat people. So I think we need to reform the way we deliver these services. We need to rethink how we, how we actually care for people who need full-time care and to take away, to break down institutions and bring the services to people in different settings. Now, we, we, we can learn from what we did with the disability services. I think it's important. Uh, but I think to just to keep building institutions and putting people in institutions is the wrong direction. We need to make sure that people are able to live the end of their lives with dignity. And that also makes sure that we can actually deliver services to those people who live in their homes 
uh, to make sure that health services and other services are actually be delivered to those people's homes to get sure they get proper care.